Good morning you lovely lot, welcome back to a new video. Um, it's Monday and yesterday I managed to do the bunny that I was speaking about. So I've got my tip, I'm going to be using my tip, that sounds like I said tit but I, I said tip honestly. <laughs> Oh dear, what a way to start a video. So I've got metallic blue from Nao. I've got blueberry bonbon glitter from Nail Sugar, which is part of the Candyland collection, which is bloody gorgeous. It's gonna be great for spring. So go and have a look at their website. I'll leave the link to the website in the description box below. Um, I'm covering the tip with the blue acrylic from Nao. You see I accentuated the P, so you know I said tip and not tit. <laughs> then I'll take a wet-ish bead of clear acrylic and dip it into the glitter and just make sure I spread it evenly all over the nail. Uh, I want a nice even coverage and I don't want any glitterless gaps. You can put on as much or as little as you want I didn't go too mad today, but I did want it to cover nicely. Then when I'm happy, I will cap the whole nail with clear acrylic, obviously. Then once it sets, I will go ahead and file and buff it. And this is so this is so this is what it looks like now um, right so I'm gonna top coat the nail and then I'm gonna create the start creating the bunny on top of the um, the nail so I'm gonna pop this in the lamp for 30 seconds your top coat might need 60 it might need two minutes if it's in a UV lamp I don't know you have to check uh, so to create the bunny, I'm going to be using silk from Glam and Glitz, which is part of their diamond acrylic collection. It's got a nice shimmer to it. I'm going to be using white from Nao. I don't know why I showed you the white. <laughs> like you don't know what white looks like. <laughs> uh, metallic rose from Nail Sugar, which is another gorgeous metallic-y um, acrylic, obviously. I keep saying obviously. And I'm using my size 2 and my size 4 3D alpha brushes from um they're from Nowcessities. they've got loads of different alpha brushes so go and have a look at their website i'll leave the link in the description box below um, i'm also going to be using my size 8 round brush um, i'm taking a bead of the silk and i'm going to start to create the bunny's face i've got myself a um, an alpha 8 oval coming i prefer oval brushes to round so I can't wait for that to come. I will show you guys a video on how I prep my brushes before I use them. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. So to create the face, I've just put like an oval, um, oval bead onto the, the nail. Then I'm creating like another oval bead, but slightly smaller to sit on top. It is on top, I've just turned the nail upside down. Um, of the bigger oval so you've got this kind of shape just neatening, neatening it up and smoothing it out then I take my uh, four size 4 3D alpha brush and I'm just going to take some beads of the grey acrylic and shape it out to create the bunny's ears so these are going to be kind of like uh i suppose carrot shaped um which is quite apt because it's a bunny and bunnies like carrots i think or is that yeah no bunnies do like carrots i've never had a bunny in my life although i think we did when we were young but i can't remember anyway i'm waffling um so you're going to start from the, the point is going to be at the top and then you're going to work your way down to the head so I kind of wanted the ears pointed, but not too pointy. Um, I suppose it kind of, you could call it a rocket, but not really a rocket. <laughs> oh dear. Can you tell I've not had my coffee yet? So I'm just going to shape that to the shape I want. 
then, once I've finished pratting around with that ear, oh my god, I didn't realise how long it took me, I'm going to start the other side. So you're just going to do exactly the same, moulding the bead out into a kind of carrot shaped, making it a bit pointed at the top. I'll leave you to the beautiful music. So now we're going to create the bunny's nose. This is called Mirror Mirror from Neo. Um, I thought it was a darker grey, but it is, I mean, it's like a silvery, shimmery acrylic. But to be honest, it's almost exactly the same as the silk from Glam and Glitz. Um, <clears throat> I wanted it to be slightly darker, but it didn't quite work out that way. But anyway, I am creating the bunny's nose now. So I, I don't know. You want to going to. Uh, it's going to be like an oval, but you're going to put a little... Ugh, they look like boobies. Why do I always explain things? I describe things as boobies in my videos. <laughs> but it's actually the bunny's nose. But they look a bit like boobies. Anyway, moving on quickly. I'm taking the metallic rose, creating the bunny's little diddy nose. So the bit underneath was more like this... The, the, muzzle, the snouty, muzzly part, I don't know what you call it. And this is his little diddy pink nose. So just shape it out into a little sort of triangle. Oh, he looks so cute already. Then I'm going to take this same coloured acrylic and I'm going to put it in the centre of um, the bunny's ears. <coughs> Excuse me just to give them a bit of that pink colour. Then I'm going to take the white and I'm going to create the eyes. So I'm putting a small bead on my brush, draining out the liquid from the back of the brush onto a paper towel. I'm gently going to place the bead on just above the bunny's nose and I'm just going to pat it out gently to the size that I want. I kind of wanted him to have big eyes. I've got a thing about big eyes, like big eyes. I'm <laughs> going to do the same to the other side. I'm going to try and get them the same size as best as I can and the same shape. It's really tricky when you're using small beads to make them all the same size bead, I think. Oh, and then we're gonna do his teeth. So this is gonna go under his little muzzly snouty bit. And I'm just gonna push it down a bit, but I'm gonna flatten out the sides and the bottom. I don't want him to have two wonky teeth. I want them to be nice and straight and flat at the bottom. So I'm using pure black from Neo also, which I forgot to mention earlier. I'm going to take this and put a small bead into the white of the eye. This is really pigmented, so try not to make a mess with it, otherwise it will just ruin, it, it will sort of stain the white and it's a right nuisance. So do be careful using the black on white. Again, I tried to make the same size pupil as I did in the other eye. I wanted to make them the same shape as well, which was a little bit tricky. So he's really starting to take shape now. Oh, he looks cute. I'm just going to put a little more, I'm using this as more of a wash. Um, this is just going to create a gap in the center of his teeth so that you know that they're teeth. You could do it with paint, 
um, but I wanted to use acrylic. I'm going to put two little white dots on the black of his eye just so that it looks like there's light shining on them I suppose. Just a bit of extra detail. And that is him done. So it wasn't too difficult and he's a super cute bunny and he'll go lovely with your egg nail that you done yesterday that I done yesterday the day before yeah thanks for watching if you did like this video please leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one